The world of social media is fickle, and even the tiniest slip-up can mess you up for life. Prior to allegations of his sexual misconduct coming to light online, Bryant Moreland, also known as EDP445, appeared to have his career as a YouTube pro on track. When a shocking video about Moreland surfaced, things took a dark turn. Moreland rose to fame through the popularity of his YouTube channel, known as EDP445. His influence was so huge that in 10 years, he had gained more than 2 million subscribers. But what made people love him so much? He had an unapologetic personality and was very bold. In a world where everything had to be politically correct and censored, EDP was as crude as they come and he definitely wasn't shy about it. And people loved it. The primary focus of EDP's content was humor, his bold attitude, and his constant bragging about how much he loves the Philadelphia Eagles. There was no doubt that this guy had established himself on the platform. And his fame wasn't just limited to YouTube. He managed to snag a guest appearance on Howard Stern's radio show, and he also had an appearance on Comedy Central in 2014. But in April 2021, EDP 445's unhinged popularity took a very dark turn. The Allegations Against EDP 445 In April 2021, a group known as Predator Poachers reported that EDP 445 had been engaging in illicit online interactions with minors. The 31-year-old reportedly planned to meet up with a 13-year-old and even acknowledged chatting with the child. This incident is famously known on the internet as the cupcake incident, since Moreland claimed he was going to buy a cupcake from the girl. Well, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. In reality, the 13-year-old was made up and used as a ruse by the predator poachers to demonstrate the YouTuber's inappropriate behavior. A video uploaded by Chet Goldstein showed several screenshots of EDP's interactions with minors, along with a real-life confrontation. The now-deleted video shows EDP admitting to the allegations. Shockingly, when he was asked to confirm that he initiated a conversation with the 13-year-old, knowing that she's 13, he simply answered, correct. Whereas in the video, the predator poachers can be seen holding screenshots of EDP's online interactions and make him confirm almost every single one of them. But this was not the end of EDP's crimes. Only a few months prior to this video being uploaded, allegations started to rise that EDP had been video chatting with minors had surfaced. Due to a lack of proof and the situation not gaining much traction, EDP was quickly let off the hook. But as they say, what goes around comes around. Moreland's YouTube, Instagram, and Cameo accounts got deleted. But this guy wasn't willing to give up, so his last remaining hope was Facebook. He announced a video on there titled, Breaking News, EDP 445, Official Website Coming Soon. The movement will continue. Then, a few days later, he posted yet another video calling out Chet Goldstein. Wow, the irony of calling out the guy that exposed you for engaging in illegal activity. Eventually, EDP's Facebook uploads came to an end since, you guessed it, his account got banned there too. For a long period, the disgraced content creator completely disappeared from social media, leaving people to wonder what he was doing in the wake of his wrongdoing. Many speculated that he might have changed careers to become a food delivery guy or a Lyft driver. But apparently, everyone was wrong. Despite not having access to most social networking sites, the former YouTuber had nonetheless managed to join them. Moreland had been seen using the live streaming platform Bigo, where he was re-establishing his name and status as a content creator. Many people expressed concern over the fact that he had been interacting with minors through live streaming, which is honestly so messed up. Moreland has not yet faced legal repercussions, but the local police department has stated that an inquiry is ongoing against him. Since everything went down, Moreland has relocated from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada. At one point, he uploaded a video showcasing his gun collection on a new YouTube channel called The Notorious EDP. And then he created a backup channel when YouTube took down that channel because of its violation policies. Just learn your lesson, dude. The internet never forgets, but they also never forgive. Multiple sightings of the disgraced YouTuber working odd jobs or even just doing normal everyday things have been reported. EDP was shown eating at a McDonald's in Sayre, Oklahoma on August 29, 2021 by an Instagram user. Then, a person going by the handle of Master at Work revealed in a live stream on September 23, 2021 that he had learned something interesting from one of his sources. The source claimed that EDP was given until October 1st to leave his apartment after his building's owner got repeated complaints and an incident in which an angry woman shouted at him in front of the whole building. 
Allegedly, he also had $3,300 left in his bank account and had taken jobs with a trucking company, which he left after two days, and started working in a food company, which he also left after a while. Maybe the problem is in the guy, what do you think? Do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, it helps us grow and bring you more content like this. EDP begged people to leave him alone, but many online sleuths vowed to keep looking for him until he was imprisoned or even killed. There have been reports that he attempted suicide once as well, but he was persuaded out of it by one of his closest friends. A video showing EDP accepting a job with Lyft was shared on TikTok during late 2021. There were even rumors that he applied for a job at Chuck E. Cheese but was rejected right away. Kinda predicted that rejection given his past, right? Then came perhaps the biggest news about EDP in months. This was that he had finally been arrested. Philip, who was an old friend of EDP, shared that he was being held captive at the Henderson Detention Center in Nevada. Philip even provided screenshots of the alleged call times from the prison facility on December 2, 2021. People were quick to point out that they couldn't find any inmate records under Moreland's name, and Philip argued that this was because he changed his name before going to prison. Eventually, most of the internet concluded that Philip was lying to get fame and attention. This lie was further confirmed when the YouTube account Some Ordinary Gamers released a video on February 17, 2022. This video revealed that EDP has a TikTok profile with the name EDP445 The OG that has activity from around the period he was supposed to be imprisoned. Now most people would hear about something like this and immediately turn against this guy. But of course, the internet always has its way of surprising us. The free EDP movement began to quickly emerge in May 2021 in response to his controversy with minors. The movement began primarily on the TikTok comment sections with the phrase, free EDP. Many YouTubers started to notice it and even made videos about it. Some even tried to promote it. Eventually though, the movement died out. And we're kinda glad it did because why would anyone feel the need to support a guy like this? As of 2022, EDP still uses the streaming app Big O Live, and he also created the Instagram account The OG EDP 445, where he posts pictures of food and calls people trolls and other insults in response to the accusations. He's dismissed the allegation as lies many times on Instagram, despite the overwhelming evidence against him and his admission in the video where he's caught. Another shocking development came about in February of this year, which alleged that EDP formally changed his name from Bryant Turin Emerson Moreland to Deone Scott Wilson Eason, a Redditor who worked at Bowen Law Offices provided the information. He also released the paperwork for EDP's name change. So was Philip telling the truth? Who knows? Some time passed and the former creator returned to YouTube on May 31st, 2022 using an old account under the name EDP445. Each video he posted drew immediate and harsh criticism. Honestly, what was he expecting? He erased any hateful or threatening comments and refuted the allegation of altering his name. Later, on June 4, 2022, his account was closed due to ban evasion. Despite no arrest being made against him yet, people are hopeful that EDP will be punished at some point. Others argue that being banished from the internet and being doxxed globally is punishment enough. It is unclear whether Instagram or TikTok will take action against him anytime soon. The biggest worry here is that he still openly interacts with minors on both of these platforms, along with his live streams, which is extremely unsettling. Share your thoughts about this situation in the comments down below, we'd love to hear what you think. Before you leave, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, see you next time.